Hello everybody, this is Linda and welcome back to Hands That Cook. Today is game day and we're going to fix an easy game day dip. Now you can do this in the oven at 400 degrees for 15 minutes, but I'm using, this is a two quart slow cooker and what I have in the bowl is one it's, I think it's a 16 ounce can of uh, refried, traditional refried beans. And this is two 4 ounce cans of uh, green chilies that are chopped. And I added uh, about three tablespoons of sour cream. Now I'm going to get this mixed up and then we'll be back. Alright, this, like I told you, this is a two quart little slow cooker. I sprayed it first. I mixed the refried beans, beans and the chopped chilies and and the three tablespoons of uh, sour cream together and I tasted it and it needed salt so I added about a half a teaspoon of salt and maybe an eighth of a teaspoon of cayenne and I stirred that all together now on top sorry guys I'm not used to having to hold the camera we're going to put two cups of the Mexican cheese blend but I didn't have any Mexican cheese and you know how I've always told you use what you have alright so on high this will take about 45 minutes to get hot and bubbly on low it'll take about an hour and a half so uh, whatever I choose to do it's still hot here outside I didn't want to turn on my oven and I think I told you, in the oven at 400 degrees in an 8x8 oven safe con container or an 8 inch uh, iron skillet, um, it'll take about 15 minutes. But I'm going the let's not heat up the kitchen way. So we'll be back when this is done because there's another topping. Alright everybody, we're back. And this is the finished product here. Uh, I put mine on low, so it's been an hour and a half. And then um, the topping is just some onions and peppers and tomatoes. And um, since I'm having to hold this camera, I'm going to cut you off for a minute and put some in Sam's plate with some Doritos. And then we'll be right back. All right, guys, um, it was an hour and a half on low or 45 minutes on high in a two or three quart crock pot. And if you put it in the oven, um, you know, use something that's oven proof, um, an eight inch cast iron skillet or a, some type of Pyrex dish, whatever you choose to use. Now, the crock pot had to be greased but it didn't say anything about greasing the um, whatever you use to put it in the oven and Sam is here he's gonna taste this this is a few Doritos in here the oven was 400 degrees for 15 minutes okay Sammy come on in come on in yeah I bought groceries today and they're all over the counter so we're having to do everything on the stove Okay. Ooh, very looks very appetizing. Well, come on over and get a chip and dip it in there. There's chips in there. I put them in there for oh, you. Oh, okay. Well, it looks absolutely delicious. Mmm. Good. That'll be perfect for the ball game. 
Well, that's what I'm hoping they'll think, that it's a good game day dip. or it, Really, it's a good entertaining mm. dip. It's good any time. Very uh, unique. I ain't had a dip exactly like that. I know it's got beans in it, but it's also got other stuff. That... It's got green chilies and a little bit of um, sour cream and just a tiny, maybe an eighth of a teaspoon of cayenne and about a half a teaspoon of salt. Mm. Well, I've been a little out of it here lately. You know, I went to the doctor. Oh. Yeah, he said... I said, what's wrong with me, Doc? He said, you've got kleptomania. I said, oh, no. I said, what do I do? He said, well, every time you feel a spell coming on, take something. <laughs> so. That's cute. I'm getting better. This is, this is really good. Now, believe me, it's well worth trying. It's. It's uniquely different from any dip you've tried, I bet. Mmm, yeah. All right. You know, you could use, um, mix a hot cheese in with the beans, you know, like pepper jack or shredded pepper jack or something like that, and then use a mild cheese on top. I didn't put any cheese in the dip itself, and <clears throat> I used um, a cheddar. Well, it's Colby Jack on top with chopped up tomatoes and peppers and a little cilantro and some onions. All right, thank you guys for coming in today. I always appreciate it. Um, give me a thumbs up if you like the recipe and subscribe. It only takes a minute. Um, and after you subscribe, a little bell will come up to the right of it. Click on that bell and uh, you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you for coming in. You all take care and God bless every one of you.